In this age of social media and technology, we're getting our news from new and sometimes untrustworthy sources. When you see some outlandish article proclaiming something like Barack Obama and Queen Elizabeth just eloped, don't automatically believe it. There are some simple ways to fact check it. The thing you want to do is consider the source. What website was it posted on? Look at what else they've posted and check Snopes on them. The thing you want to do is make sure you actually read the article. You don't want to take headlines as fact. The purpose is to get your attention so they purposefully make themselves as outlandish as possible. Read the whole article before seeing whether the headline matches up. You want to check the author and see what else they've written and if it's credible or if it sounds just as outlandish. You want to check their sources. If they've cited links, click on them and read through them thoroughly. Now, anonymous individuals do not count as credible sources, as anything can be attributed to them. You know that, according to anonymous individuals, Stuff You Didn't Learn in School is the favorite YouTube channel of Queen Elizabeth. The thing you want to check is if the news site has a history of satire, or if the article was meant as a joke, like my comment above. Some sites, like The Onion, which only print satire. Lastly, you'll want to check your biases. The reason that you want to believe this article? For example, if you have some sort of internal hatred for small dogs, and do you find an article saying that small dogs account for 2,000 murders of humans every year, you'll be much more inclined to believe it than if you had seven small dogs that you loved. Supposing you really want to take all online news, and news in general, with a grain of salt, there aren't really any regulations about it since we have freedom of speech and freedom of press. And so anyone with any sort of intentions and ulterior motives can publish whatever they want.